Hey guys, thanks again for joining me on my channel. For those of you who are feeling overwhelmed by COVID-19, today I wanted to give you five things in this video that you should be doing to help ease your COVID-19 anxiety. Now, as we all you know, try to keep our sanity, um, the longer that we're stuck at home, social distancing, isolation, you know, all, the, all that good stuff. Many people, though, especially those who suffer with things like anxiety and depression, uh, may find themselves really struggling through uh, this difficult time. And while it can seem like this is never going to end, because I don't know about you, but it really feels like this is just dragging on, I'd like to offer a few pieces of advice. Now, number one, social media should never be a reliable source of information. The irony is... Since we're all home now and bored, nothing else to do, it's causing us to spend a lot more time on social media platforms. Uh, however, what you tend to see, what I tend to see on social media is nothing but regurgitated, misrepresented, streamlined versions of goobly gop and crap and misinformation. And every now and then you might find a, a little bit of truth. And... I find that we live in this world of, of self-made journalists and many sources just kind of want to be the first to, to break the story, um, which often comes at the cost of not, not fact-checking anything. And so what, what you really need to be doing is spending more time relying on the information that's provided directly from trusted sources like the CDC, the World Health Organization, or your public health authority, whoever that might be. The second thing is, is that you got to remember that just because something sounds logical doesn't make it true. Now, this one is one that gets me every single day because I'm sure I'm not the only person whose in, in the inbox or DM, whatever, is full of clips and videos of conspiracy theories that are being shared by other people claiming to explain what's, you know, what's really going on. And while I'll admit that many of the theories that I'm seeing can be pretty convincing. For example, perhaps you've heard of the issues surrounding 5G technology. And based on my limited research, I do believe that the implications that they talk about with 5G technology is very well true. The problem is, is that to suggest the coronavirus is just a complete falsehood, and this is all about 5G technology, is a little bit sketchy in my books. Now, listen, anyone can string together a series of information, right, to present a compelling story. And although many of these theories that are out there can be very, uh, very true or have relevance, uh, they're really just very distracting and, and they cause unnecessary confusion. So it's, it's better to limit the amount of time that you're, you're giving to these types of information, especially right now, or just simply don't confuse these theories with the coronavirus. Now, this leads me to my next point. Do your own research. I think you owe it to yourself. And, and since you have a lot more time on your hands now, you really have no excuse. And while I'm suggesting that you need to be mindful of, of all the, the trash and the conspiracy theories that are out there, you don't want to be ignorant either. Uh, so uh, find the time. Make the time to do some research on the things that you're hearing about so that you can be informed, right? You know, countless times people will send me stuff um, to my inbox and try to help me, you know, stay woke or stay informed. And when I ask them about the same information they just send me, they say, well, well I, I don't know much about it. Well, I, I didn't do any research on it. So my point is that just because your friend sends you some information, which could be of some interest, just don't take their word for it. You got to do your own research. You can't just be a puppet. Number four is to be proactive with your time. Probably one of the best things that you can do for yourself right now is to keep yourself as busy as you absolutely can. I don't care if you go for a walk, find a new hobby, read that book you've been putting off, pick up the phone and call that friend you've been meaning to connect with for so long. Or go clean up that closet that's uh, starting to look like a bit of a haunted house for you. <laughs> Just do whatever you need to do. Just don't sit around stewing in your own thoughts of confusion and misery. And number five, and in my opinion, probably the, 
the most important thing is not to obsess about the numbers. It's probably one of the worst things that you could do right now is to obsess about the numbers. Let's see, you've got confirmed cases, presumptive cases, negative cases, recovered cases, local numbers, regional numbers, country numbers, death numbers, testing numbers. Are you confused yet like I am? And so each one of these numbers changes literally by the minute. So what benefit is it to constantly keep up with the numbers? I can't find a good reason why you would spend so much time obsessing about the numbers. So while reporting these numbers is really meant to give you an up-to-date perspective of what's really going on, it, it can really trigger you into feeling like the situation is just getting worse and worse and worse every minute of the day. So staying informed is one thing, but obsessing about it is another. So if it means something to you, just stay focused on the numbers that are in your local or regional area. And practice your good hygiene, follow the recommendations by health authorities, and just chill the heck out. <laughs> That's five things that I think are probably very quick wins, things that you could do really easy to help you get over some of your fears and your anxieties. And I'm sure there's many different things that you're already doing to help you cope through these unprecedented times. And if there is, I'd love you to tell me about them because I'd love to hear about them. So what I need you to do is to leave a comment below. Let me know what, what strategies you're using to get through these times. Um, I'd love to hear about them, as I said, and I'd love to share them with other people. And lastly, if you've liked this video or found it helpful in any way, I'd ask that you just give it a thumbs up, like it, share it, and of course, subscribe so that we can stay in touch. Take care.